Hi everybody, Flash Crow here from Old Man Gaming Down Under. Welcome to another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. <laughs> what are you doing, Matt? Locking me around. Um, let's just see, for those of you who just joined us, our quest log is, we've got to go to Captain Bernard, because we've tracked down the nest of vipers. Um, but we're going to go see him for further orders. But, I'm a little bit on the hungry side, so I'm going to see if I can go in the kitchen, if there's a kitchen, which I'm pretty sure there is. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Awake already? I hope you've had a good rest after all you've been through. You might need it. We've got work to do tonight, so get up and get going to Tallenberg as soon as possible. You need to rouse Sir Divish and his men for the attack. We'll meet this evening at the Stronghold and settle up with that sly bastard. Hmm. Can I ask? Can I ask what? Obviously something. Can I ask... Um, uh, that's all I don't want to ask any Thank of that. You. That's all I wanted to know. Yes, you want to know nothing. Right, well, let's I need get to some... set off as soon as possible to give the Talmburgers the Listen up, man! Or they won't arrive in time to, to help us at Vanyak. And no easy pickings. I want every last one of you standing here in full armor and ready for action by sunset. Yeah, well, I thought he was going to give me some armor. All I had to do was ask him. Let's see if he will what now. The? What? No. Right. Now I talk to him. Good health to you. Hand over the trophies. No, we haven't got to that bit yet, I do not believe. Um, well, I was supposed Before to be able to get armour. And he's not giving me any. It was him, wasn't it? Is that Sir Bernard? Yeah, Captain Bernard. I'm sure he was going to give me something. Where's the kitchen? That's got to be the kitchen, surely. Oomph. Oomph. Let, let me in. That said open before. Oh. No, private area. Yeah, I'm going. Idiots. Oh my goodness, let me out. <laughs> hmm, what am I going to do? Get food somewhere else? <laughs> I'm sure there was a kitchen somewhere. Was it in here? I'm just as likely to get arrested because I want to look for something to eat. You know what? Can't be bothered. Or maybe I could talk to Sir Ratzik. Don't want a pickpocket. <laughs> no. in here? No, probably not. I'm not going to go in there. Nope. Oh, well. Right, let's see if I can get down here without having to press caps lock. Very good. Ah, Sir Ratzik. Just the man I want to see. 
Hey, Dad. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? Um. Nope. Goodbye. Goodbye to you too. Is that my horse? No. Where's my horse? Um. Where's my horse? Hello, horse. Where were you hiding? Right. To Townburg, hey? No, he could very well have a job for me, but I'm not interested. Townburg. It's a fair way. I might have to stop off at the mill. No, I'm going to stop off at the bathhouse and get something to eat there. Actually, which way out of here? <laughs> but let me, oh, I don't want to go left here. I want to... Or well, do I? Yes, I do want to go left here. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Don't you worry about that. Be careful on that ladder, mate. Could get something to eat here. I think I'll do that. To heal, Muck. No, no, I didn't. I just want to get off the horse. <laughs> eat from the pot. That's it. Well, so much for armor. Yeah, we'll give you some armor. Go see him, get anything you need. I will. Yeah. Let's go. I'll see you at Townburg unless something happens in the meantime. Well, here's the castle at last. What's his name? So who do I need? Where will he be? Upstairs, no doubt. Aha. Sir, I bring an urgent message from my father from Saradzik and Hanish. <laughs> I take it you've heard. What does your father want from me? I found out who's behind all the unrest in the region, and Father and Hanush have decided to put an end to it all. What? So who is responsible for all our recent troubles? You may have met him. Istvan Toth. No, I haven't met him. But Sir Radzik said he'd been here to visit before... before the raid. I don't suppose that's a coincidence. What kind of man is he? What is he after? He's in the service of King Sigismund, and he's fighting the nobility who support King Wenceslas. They've amassed quite a force at the old stronghold above Sassau, and they're planning to attack very soon. Father and Hanush have decided to move first and destroy him before he's prepared. Oh, for Christ's sake. When and how? Tonight. They send word for you to muster your men and rendezvous with them at Vranjik. This is madness. Maybe it is, but I fear that Radzik and Hanish are right. The sooner we cure this pestilence, the better. Gather the men and make ready. We march tonight. Leave only as many as you must to guard the castle. Very well, sir. As you command. Will you be coming with us? Yes, sir. I have some scores to settle with them.
skittish. I see you don't want to miss the show. You didn't expect me to leave all the glory to you. Never. We wouldn't dream of starting without you. What news? Did you parley with them? <laughs> we did. And what was the outcome? Not quite what we hoped for. Radzig wanted to go parley with them in person. Fortunately, I talked him out of it. It seems that this will not be resolved without a battle. Bloody good thing, too. Finally, we'll have some proper entertainment in the countryside. Fortunately, my son here showed immense daring and made his way into the lion's den to spy on them. Tell us what you saw, lad. What do you want to know, exactly? Well, let's start with how well fortified they are. The outer palisade goes right around the whole camp. On a small hill inside it, there's a half-demolished farmhouse that's ringed by another palisade. That's where I was held prisoner. And that's where Toth's based. Him and his inner circle. Can you tell us how many tents there are and how they're arranged? There might be fifty, maybe three score. Most of them in the right-hand side of the camp. And the men? How many men strong are they? Quite a few. At least eighty. Huh. We don't number much more than that ourselves. We do outnumber them, though. Even if only by a few men. And our men are well-armed and disciplined. The foe, nothing but a rabble. From what I've seen, it's best to attack from our direction. How does it look from the other sides? The east side is all rocks. <laughs> so no Get your head out the way. Major assault from there. <laughs> On the other hand, that's the way I escaped. It's where they throw all their waste. The heap's already so high, it's almost to the top of the palisade. Now that is interesting. The ramparts are long. If there are as many of them as we think, they can hardly keep watch over the entire length. Attack with full force at the gate, and they won't have enough men at the rear. That's an excellent strategy. But then I'd expect no less from you. If we cause an enormous uproar at the same time, they won't know what's hit them. Uproar? You said they have tents there? Yes, sir. Well, if I'm not mistaken, tents usually burn rather well. And we have quite a few archers. <laughs> you don't do things by halves, Divish. Well. So, I believe we have a plan. Robard will take ten men and sneak to the rear of the fortifications. There's an entry point, but you must remain hidden. I will do my best, sir. That shouldn't be too hard. They'll have other things to worry about. The rest of us will launch a frontal assault. Rain burning arrows on them and then attack. Those bastards won't know which way to turn. At that point, Robot and his squad will strike from the rear. I think it's a good plan. God be with you, my friends. We'll wipe those whore sons off the face of the earth. Interesting. Let me put my armor on before you charge. On my helmet. Listen up now! <laughs> we are about to meet the rabble that have been trying to hurt us. Pillaging, killing, raping, and generally being a thorn in our side for long enough. They may be hiding behind a stockade, but they are still a pack of curs who are no match for men like you. And tonight, we are going to festoon these trees with corpses. First, we will set fire to their little hornet's nest, then we'll keep them busy by the gate, and when we've made it nice and hot for them, Sir Robard and his men will pounce on them from the rear, and we will hack them to pieces. Have you got it? Yes, sir! Good. Now, when we reach the ramparts, the archers will cover the men climbing it and the men with the battering ram. Any of these fuckers foolish enough to stick his head outside the stockade is to lose it at once. Understood? Yes, sir! Glad to hear it. Now, let's do it! Forward!
Right, well, I've got to get... He's not showing me with any armour. <laughs> Buggers. Radio. Can I put that over the top? No. the over that don't know enough about my medieval stuff okay I've got something on all of those I'll wear my padded thing that hmm I'm going to wear this one because it's easier the visibility is better I've got those and put those on I'll wear my lucky necklace <laughs> um, right and my weapons no what I haven't got anything there um ah oh, that's because it's selected uh, hunting bow, my piercing ones, 89 of them, that should be enough. And my slinger sword, which is about the only thing I've got the agility to wear. But I think I'm going to be going with the bow because I'm a coward. <laughs> if I got it. So, am I supposed to be going? do much there. The first part of the scorched encampment. Henry! Go with the men and flush out anyone left around the tents so they don't creep up on us from behind. You men, over there! Go with them! Okay, so towards A. A. Come on, guys. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Hey, move. Just use your back to shoot him. I'm going to rob you, mate. Put my arrows back. <laughs> okay. Whoops, missed 
Alter. Ja. What the hell? Isn't he here? Don't tell me no one was in command! It does rather look that way, Hanush. Henry, where's Top? You said he was here. He definitely was, sir. I've got the cuts and bruises to show for it. We have to find out where he slithered off to. Look for clues. Anything that will tell us what he's doing. Hmm. They were up to no good. Um, hmm. Cross log, take the letter to Hanish. Someone's got to take it, look at it right away. Okay, um, let me just go to my inventory. Letter. Let me read it. <laughs> Dear sir, this one of my trouble for me, I must say. Managed to massive for many men realizing he had suffered a little consequence. 
from the confusion the cows of which we previously spoke. Uh -oh. Okay. <coughs> Sanish, where are you? That's a divish. They've been tricked. So this was all I could find. A letter? What does it say, Ratzig? Alongside hunting, drinking, and swordplay, you might find time for a little study, old man. In the courts of Prague, every Tom, Dick, and Harry can read nowadays. Yes, well, here in the countryside, we don't give a tinker's curse about such things. <laughs> That's what I've got a scribe for, anyway. Now, what does the damn thing say? It appears to be written by Toth, but it doesn't say to whom. It says, everything is going according to plan, and the castle should soon be taken. Castle? What castle? What does he need a castle for? Sir, we took this one alive. And it seems he's not just some ordinary spear carrier. Where's that rat Toth? Where did he go? Speak, damn you! <sighs> he's thwarted you again, hasn't he? <laughs> if you play your cards right, you might come out of this in one piece. Where is your lord? He was here yesterday, wasn't he? Come now, sir. We both know where I will end up. <laughs> My lord is gone. He took most of the men and left. Where is he gone? What is he planning? He writes here about taking some castle. Which castle? <laughs> oh, some nearby castle. Left completely unguarded. Now I wonder where it could be. <laughs> what are you saying, you horse son? Talmberg. Did he go to Townburg? <laughs> You'll never get him! You'll never get <laughs> What? We are planning on sending him to some monastery to become a monk? I believe we have some work to do, Sir Divish, do we not? Mount up, gentlemen. We don't have any time to waste. Hmm. Greetings. We... we were ambushed. We need assistance. We have wounded men here. Open the gate. Idiot. The Lord be praised. Here! Come on! Lady Stephanie, I, I really don't think we should... My lady. Faster, man! Come on, faster! My men are gravely wounded. Without treatment, I'm afraid they won't live to see morning. Hiya! Hiya! Not to worry. We'll take care of them. My lady, you have my uttermost gratitude. May God reward you for your kindness. Every Christian should help his neighbor in his hour of need. True. Especially now, when treachery and deception surround us on all sides. Get out of the way! The devil lurks in the shadows. Come on! And one fears taking a guest into his house. Others. Yes, sir. 
like a man <laughs> I don't think so I like it better right here would you rather hide behind my wife like some mangy whelp I could just as easily cut her throat I have hostages enough and strong walls to protect me bring him here Radzig 
What do you want, you viper? Let me think. Oh, actually, there's nothing I want from you. Except maybe to see you all die. Fire! Burn it down! Well, this isn't going very well. Christ. Uh, are you all right? Uh, I'll live. Oh. Whew. But I don't think I'll be wielding a sword for a while. Oh, we have men enough for sword wielding. A good lord is harder to come by. How the hell did they get Radzik? I didn't make it to the gate. He was charging against reinforcements from the castle. We have to save Sir Rab my father, somehow. And we have to save my wife and get our home back. My friend, I think you know as well as I, we have to lay siege. No, no, that is our last resort. We have to try all our other options. Sir, if a few men could scale the Western Wall after dark, maybe they could get inside, free the hostages and open the gate. That is, if they're holding them in the courtyard as we've always done. Well, that's a big if. What if they're seen and they can't raise the portcullis quietly? Sir Hanish, if we can save just one hostage. It's a perilous undertaking. Who would you send? Not me. Okay. No. <laughs> then let us make ready. Oh my god. Better get ready for the night raid. Some light clothing would be best. Dark colours. Yeah. Yeah, I've got plenty of that. Okay. <laughs> I think the video has probably gone on long enough. So I'm going to um, call it an end there. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And... Uh, <laughs> We'll see how we go in the next one.